and the season is actually here for weed control and fertilization. I wanted to talk about that for just a minute. A lot of my friends in the business that already do weed control and fertilization, they've been telling me for years, man, you need to get in this. This is where the profit is. It's easy work. It's easy money. And this is where the money is. You make more money at weed control and fertilization than you do just straight mowing. So with that said, I reached out to a guy that I respect very much. A guy on YouTube, his channel name is Lawn Care Life. Jason Creel, Alabama Lawn Pros. The guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to weed control and fertilization. So I wanted to have him on here real quick and talk about is it worth it to do weed control and fertilization? Is the profits, are they actually there like people say they are? I would say as far as profitability, I, I do think the weed control and fertilization side is uh, more profitable than the mowing side of the business. You understand this, when, when I started my weed control business, it took me basically three years and several hundred customers to fill up my schedule uh, just for myself you know so it takes a lot of customers because you're not visiting that customer's home near as often as you would if you were mowing so you know when i look at it and why i try to explain to people you know you it's it's a lot quicker uh, to get a mowing business up off the ground and start making money uh, per application, yeah, you're going to probably make more on a weed control and fertilization application than you would mowing somebody's grass. Um, but like I said, you, you, you need hundreds of customers uh, just to fill up one person's route, and that can sometimes take years. So, you know, it, it's different. I think once you're established in the weed control and fertilization, like if I'm out there working five days a week, 40 hours a week in weed control and fertilization versus working five days a week, 40 hours a week in mowing, then yes, you'll you'll end up profiting more money, or at least in my experience, in the weed control. So, you know, it's two different approaches, um, and, and I've enjoyed having experience in both. But, you know, typically in the weed control, your, your biggest expense is going to be um, the actual fertilizer weed control products. And over the course of a year, those will typically average out to about 20 to 25% of your total revenue. Um, so we're in mowing, you know, you end up with a lot of labor if you have employees. Um, typically, uh, you know, one person in the weed control business uh, can generate the revenue that it might take through a three-man crew to do in mowing. But like I said, you got the added expense of the, the chemicals, the fertilizer, and then just, you know, the amount of customers you need to really fill up your schedule uh, takes a while sometimes. Thank you, Jason, for coming on and kind of talking about this for a minute. You are an expert in this field. That's why I wanted to have you on my channel. I got a lot more stuff with Jason coming up. I asked Jason a lot of questions. We're going to put them into kind of some different videos or whatever, but um, I appreciate it. Uh, the guy is real knowledgeable. Go check out his channel. Um, he doesn't do any fancy editing. He's not, he's not like that. He's all about sharing info, which I really like and I really respect. So, uh, Jason with uh, Alex. Alabama Lawn Pros, thank you very much. Lawn Care Channel is Lawn Care Life. Go check him out. And yeah, so if you're wanting to increase your business and you're wanting to do different things and separate yourself from competition, weed control and fertilization is definitely a, a way to go. There's a lot of guys that do mowing, but there's not a lot of guys that do both. And that's one way you can separate yourself from the competition and kind of the more you know, the more you're gonna grow with your business. And sounds like I need to take my own advice.